Hey, I am so excited. As my TSPN um, uh, viewers out there know, I love art, and I, I'm an artist myself. So we're here with Angie Olmstead. Yes. Welcome, Angie. Thank you. And we're going to be talking about a couple of different mediums. Um, I think today we're going to introduce, and this is an introduction to me. I mean, I've seen, you know, I've done this myself just on a very small scale. Haven't seen it in a big scale. I don't know if Tom can capture this or not, but at a distance, you can't tell that it's not actual painting. It's collage art. So why don't we start by talking about the collage art? Well, I started doing collage art about seven years ago when a group of us artists who usually painted in acrylics, right. we all got together and we decided to have a show and someone came up with the name uh, Rochambeau. And Rochambeau means rock, paper, scissors, uh -huh. the game. And so I thought, well, by gosh, I'm just going to start by cutting some paper and, and doing. So I did pictures of boulders at Folsom Lake and so uh -huh. on. And, I, and it was a two-day show, and I took seven pieces and five sold in two days. And so I thought, oh, I think people I really think like this. Yeah. 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 Once you get it pasted on, do you um, treat it with something? I do. Um, the initial adhesive that I put on, mm -hmm. the glue, is a special adhesive um, that is put out to, to uh, protect the, um, the dyes that are in the magazine paper because it's all made of magazine paper. Right. So all my friends give me tons of magazines that I, <laughs> yeah, I can use. So that's At the my doctor's medium. office when she goes, right. she leaves with the magazines. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so are you looking for any particular colors or just whatever? What I do uh, is I sit down every morning and go through magazines and I rip out pages of blues, oranges, purples, reds, yep. greens, primary and mm -hmm. secondary colors pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then I just put them in a file and then as I work I just take one page at a time. When I first started out I thought how am I going to do this? And, and I thought, well, I'll just cut up a bunch of blues and I'll mm -hmm. put them in a little baggie or something. And then it just became so overwhelming that I thought, I can't do this. I have to just work with a handful of color at right. a time. Okay. Right. So that's what I do, pretty much. And I, sometimes I paint the canvas. They're all on canvas. So sometimes I paint the canvas before I begin so that I really have a clear picture of where the colors need to go. Mm -hmm. And then just sometimes, and I'll show you today, I'll just start out with with, uh, with uh, a blue sky going to green. Okay, why don't we start and the, the demo, then you can kind okay. of talk while you're doing it. Okay, and then I would talk about, also I would talk about, this is going to be a class yes. at Mace Meadow, and you can see here, the, uh, the first class is the collage class with me, and that is the first Saturday in April from 10 until noon. And then the second class is an introduction to acrylics, and that, that will also yes. be um, on a Saturday. So all of the classes will be at Mace Meadow. Let's, I'm going to pull this and, one up here okay. so we can see that. And then they will all, all the classes will be on Saturday, and they will be continual. It's just that the month of April will be introduction to collage, introduction to acrylic, and then Judy Day will be teaching watercolor on Yupo paper, which is a relatively new technique that gives you a, a very, very lush, juicy, water, watery feel to it mm -hmm. that you can't get with regular watercolor paper. Right. So we will be teaching those three classes as introductions okay. during the first three weeks of, of April. Okay. So what are you going to demo so here? So I'm going to show you a little bit on how uh, just how I do it. And I just take this, you know, a piece of paper. Now, while you're cutting, you must be pretty good at this. Have you won any awards for it? Uh, yes, I have won awards for these pieces. I won um, a Best of Show award with a piece of uh, that sh that was um, flowers in a glass vase, and I won the People's Choice Award, the highest award. At the Amador County Fair? Or? I did not win that at Amador County Fair. I won that at a Roseville Gallery. Okay. And then at the Amador County Fair, I won Best of Show for a piece that was called Autumn Pond, mm -hmm. and that was in the category of professional artists. So okay. that was just last year. Let's see what we okay. can... Okay, so... So before you start, would you sketch, sketch 
something out? On this one, I wouldn't okay. because I pretty much know that I, I just get my inspiration from different things. Sometimes they're ads uh -huh. from magazines. Right. And so this one, I want to be umbrellas. Oh, okay, got and it. So, and so, as you can see, like two-thirds of this is mm -hmm. sky. Sure. And then one-third is, is right. grass. So the sky will go so, fairly quick. Sure. Okay. And so anybody can do this. And do you so you have just a picture to work off of, this or is it, it in, is it in your mind? Th this is actually it. It's pretty much that's pretty much it. But then, as I work along, I sometimes refer to other photographs that I find from magazines that I think would make it more interesting. So Basically, I just pop it on here. And what are you brushing it on with? I'm brushing it on with Liquitex. Liquitex. Okay. Um, Liquitex matte medium. Okay, and um, is this just a regular um, this is a canvas? canvas? It's a canvas okay. that has been um, actually somebody else had painted something on it that was terribly you ugly. It over it. Sure. So <laughs> no need so, to waste those canvases. No, no. <laughs> so anyway, basically, I just get a handful of pieces at a time, and then about every hour, I have to go uh, to the kitchen or somewhere and get the glue off of my fingers yes. because it kind of tends to, you know, kind of, you know, build up there. Um, but and are anyway. you just using a regular, uh, like acrylic um, art brush? I am. Okay. And then um, to, so Liquitex matte medium is the adhesive. And then to finish off the piece when it's done, like this piece behind mm -hmm. you, um, I will lay it flat on a table. Focus. And then I will pour a, a Liquitex gloss varnish on it. Now, the Liquitex gloss varnish protects it from UV rays right. that would change the inks of the print. And why not use a spray on? Uh, because they don't have the UV protection. Got it. This is basically just kind of sealed in amber, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, because it gets poured on. Sure, and, and if surface. I would imagine if this isn't treated and you were to hang it where the sun would come in, it would fade fairly. Or even not where the sun came in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. any kind of light this, would. This is really different it. because you, you don't need to have primary colors in there. It's a, the, the collage of colors from a distance actually blends in, mm -hmm. so it looks like the primary color almost sometimes. Yes, yes, which is the old theory of pointillism, and that I is... Love, yeah. I love the, the little yeah. skirt here with the <laughs> yeah. writing on it. I mean, that is just, just so And, and kind of what cute. you do with the purple here, these are... So I, there must be 20 or 30 pieces that you cut in there. Oh, right. And then for this series, I decided to do Adirondack chairs. So I have like five pieces with Adirondack chairs mm -hmm. or other kinds of chairs. And, um, and then in each piece, I added music as well. And, yes. s and for some of them, I put the title of the song so that people can sing the song while they're looking at the picture. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, um, beyond April, beyond April, uh, you'll continue to have some classes. I will. Those are the ones I'm interested in. Let's talk about those. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all at the clubhouse there? They're at the all at the event center. So while the Mace. men are out golfing, yes. the women... Or while the women are out golfing, the yes. men can come paint. Exactly. Exactly. So we are going to have these introductory classes, introduction to collage, introduction to acrylic, and introduction to watercolor, the first three Saturdays in April. After that, we will have series of classes. Like we'll have five classes that then you really get into actually doing the piece. And you will be... Um, Creating these out of shapes of colors. That's now, if someone's going to be in Savannah the first two weeks, <laughs> which of, is you, which is you, the first two weeks, and and I can't take the introductory class. Am I going to miss out on having the opportunity? No, I'm a fast learner, so I think I can pick up. on Basically, the, you're going to you're going to do in the introductory class. This is what you're going to do. You're okay. going to learn how to cut the pieces. Yeah. Not necessarily in little square forms uh -huh. that, like I am doing, but you need to cut them so that they do not create bubbles. So, you, so they can't oh. be really big pieces. They right. have to be Small fairly. But, but if you see an image that you absolutely love, that you must have, for example, the flowers on the yellow flower creation there. This? The one below it. Yes. Um, that's that, an actual cutout. That's an actual cutout, but it's kind of big. But, but it's kind of big. Mm -hmm. This is so, kind of a bubble right here, but you must have liked it. 
the you know, yeah, some of it, you know, when you're working with collage, you're, you're going to end up with a certain amount of bubbling anyway. It's yeah. just the this, nature. I, I like this with the fish there. It looks like. Yeah, the, the fish. There's one up the above it, too, that you can't see. It's green. It's sitting right on top. So, Sue Ann, can, can, she can practice before. She can do the rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Yes, do the game. Do the game with your kids or grandkids or whoever, yeah. you know. And so, it'll be every Saturday for a few months or? Yes, okay. yes. And, um... If someone wants more information, can they contact you? Yes, or? Okay. my phone number is right here. I am local, 295-6309. And I didn't mention how much this would be. And this is only $10. And I am telling you, I've taken <laughs> many art classes, several art classes, and $10 is cheap. Mm -hmm. Very cheap. Cheap. Do we bring our own canvases? Yes. Okay. Not or for the introductory. For the introductory, <coughs> that includes everything. So you don't need to worry. So collage, I will provide you with all the magazine, the paper, the glue, the, pen, the everything that you need to do your first collage. Now, um, on the introductory, is, the, is it a smaller one? It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would imagine. For $10. It's yeah. about like... <laughs> sure, sure. Eight and a half by eleven, something like There's that. There's three classes here, so people can either do all three or pick the one they want? Exactly. Okay. So the one is going to be the watercolor, the other one will be the acrylic, the acrylic. and then the, the third mm -hmm. one will be, or the first one will be the collage. Yes. And you want to take all three, right? I do. I do. <laughs> okay. Just to see, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful now, experience for $10 to come up to Mace Meadow oh, for a couple hours. And Mace Meadows is beautiful up it there. Is. And I am a golfer as well, so this is going to cut into my, <laughs> my golfing time, but that's okay. Well, uh, maybe Dave would like to do this collage. Maybe we can just <laughs> race right out after the class. Yeah, maybe. Pick up the back nine with them. Yeah. Do people have to bring their own um, canvas? Not for the first class. Okay. For these introductory classes, for only ten dollars, we will provide you with everything because we want to find out what do you like to do, what mm -hmm. what is really something that excites you. Because if you're not excited about what you're doing. Don't do it. Do you have a website by chance? I do not have okay. a website, but uh, you can contact me by phone. Sure. Or I am a regular at the um, Sutter Creek Gallery, which is a co-op. Yep. I am a member yep. of that co-op. So my work is there, and okay. I'm there, and you can contact me through there as well. Okay. I so also will be, so oh, excuse no, me. No, go ahead. I'll also be showing my collage work at Andis a Winery in Shenandoah oh, Valley nice. and I will be there for the full month of April so I'll have a lot more uh, pieces of umbrellas and bright mm -hmm. exciting colors so I don't know if Tom can zoom in on this but uh, what what she's starting to create here is the different is the sky and you mm -hmm. know sky is not just a solid blue and she's capturing that here you've got grays and, if, if and you don't white, count the umbrellas blues. you can kind of see the start of it <laughs> right. so. see and he's zooming in yeah. so yeah. I can see what, where she's going with the sky here. So. But this this has so to be the hard part, actually getting the, all the sticks in the umbrella. Well, um, that is pretty easy yeah. because, you, you know, once you get the shape of the umbrella in, and you can do that either by gridding it on or you can sketch it on okay. or you can project it with an overhead projector, which is really, really, really fast. Okay. So, Angie, you, you can keep um, creating your masterpiece here. Um, okay. We do need to take a quick break. We will be back, so stay with us. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.